Richards. My name is Tony Osborne. I'm the London Bureau Chief uh, of Aviation Week in London. And with me is Thierry Dubois, our French uh, Bureau Chief. And with me, in fact, stood behind me, is the mock-up of the next generation fighter for the Franco-German Future Combat Air System. Uh, this is probably one of the big stars of the show. It's, it's brought about a lot of interest. But what's happened in the last couple of days, Thierry? There was a high-profile unveiling of uh, this mock-up yesterday with President Macron. There was also three defense ministers, the German one, the French one, and the Spanish one, as Spain has joined the program. There were also high-ranking officials from the Air Forces and the procurement agencies. It's a, quite an intriguing configuration. So there are a number of architectures currently being studied by the uh, industrial team and the military teams. And they're looking at how the uh, next generation fighter um, working with a range of UAVs or so-called remote carriers. Uh, and these would feed information back to the pilot or, and work together and collaborate to strike their targets. I think one of the most interesting aspects about the uh, NGF that we see here is the physical size of it. It's much larger than the Dassault Rafale or the Eurofighter Typhoons it will ultimately replace. Um, note the faceted sides, the uh, almost YF-23 uh, Black Widow rear end. So this is an aircraft that's des designed for low observability, range, endurance, bay-mounted weapons. So it's, it's an intriguing design, but of course it's unlikely to be the final one. Yes, exactly. And as a cooperation program, this has been relatively swift. For example, yesterday, the OEMs handed over a formal proposition to the defense ministers. And the proposition is about, is about three different demonstrators. There would be an aircraft demonstrator, there would be an engine demonstrator, which would involve Safran and MTU, and a communications platform or communications network, if you wish, a demonstrator, which would involve TALIS, among others. Okay. And as this sixth generation aircraft will need sixth generation weapons, we could go and see what MBDA has in store. We are now on the stand of missile manufacturer MBDA, and they offer a set of weapons and remote carriers. That's right, Thierry. So MBDA are, are basically exploring the future of weapons because the FCAS is going to be in service out until 2040. So they're proposing a, a set of weapons that could equip not just the Franco-German Future Combat Air System, but also the UK Tempest project. I think one of the most interesting aspects of, of what's on display here are the remote carriers. Um, these are small, essentially UAV-like platforms that could be launched from the sea or from the air from an aircraft like the A400M. And they could perform... Uh, electronic warfare or electronic attack or perhaps just sort of linger above uh, surface to air missile sites and, and kill them if they become active. So they'll be actively working with the, the pilot of the FCAS and he'll control them and they will collaborate and work together using artificial intelligence. And what about the weapons? There's quite a range of weaponry that MBDA is proposing, including subsonic and supersonic cruise missiles, uh, which would probably be externally mounted because they're, they're quite large. Some of them are like five meters long and, and weigh about a ton. But they're also talking about things like the, the sort of the, the air meteor beyond visual range air to air missile that equips the uh, soon to equip the Rafale and the Eurofighter Typhoon. Uh, they're also looking at a range of very small uh, scale. Uh, bombs like the Spear 3 and the sm their smart glider uh, and their smart cruiser weapons too. And like with the uh, remote carriers, these weapons will sort of work uh, together, they'll work collaboratively. I think that's a really interesting aspect of all this, that you know, you'll have a, the commander sat in the FCAS controlling all these aspects, but so many of these things will also be almost independent thinkers. It's a, it's a very exciting prospect. So what else can we expect here at the show? I think it's going to be a very exciting few days uh, for the Future Combat Air System. It's a, it's a very important program for mm -hmm. European defence industry in, in the coming years. That's it from us. Thanks for watching.